Yeah, I would say, you know, all the help I can get, I'm all for it. And uh, I'm never going to shy away from reps. And, uh, you know, it's always a great opportunity to even get uh, you no know, reps from the coaches because they don't throw them out that often. So, um, it, like, coming from a young guy, when I first came in, I always wanted as many reps as I could, and that's still the same mentality I have today. Okay. Were you getting a little antsy when you were out with the leg? Um, yeah, I mean, who wouldn't um, play for so long? You hate to keep watching. You know, all I did was watch almost half of last season, so I, I got tired of it. So um, just wanted to you know, play it smart, get back healthy, and uh, keep practicing towards LSU. It's a little scary, though, after what happened last year? To... Oh, yeah, yeah, especially that, that. It's just all about being smart. Um, as bad as I want to keep, I want to keep pushing it. Um, you know, just to, got a few days, kept rehabbing. Now I'm back out there and feeling healthy. So. Uh, I, I think all the rehab paid off, so back to normal again. You got a pretty deep group this year too, so you almost—it's yeah. almost like you are pushing yourself to be out there mm -hmm. because you know guys like Dario, Taiwan, or even Bradwick can maybe take some reps from you. Uh, yeah, I mean everybody has a fair share in this offense, and uh, everybody brings something different to this table. So um, I'm happy that everybody is able to contribute, and uh, you know everybody brings a unique style to this offense. Uh, you know Dari does a great job catching out the backfield. Taiwan is a uh, a bruise runner, and. Um, uh, and myself, I try to be a team player as all as, all as I can, and uh, you know, learn from everybody else who brings something new to this team. Coach Heron said the other day that you came to him in the offseason and said, "Hey, that little guy at Stanford, I like what he does." Yeah. Which, you, do you think it's a legitimate thing, even if it's only uh, in situations about returning kickoffs? Um, uh, got to play by play by ear, but uh, you got to respect the opponents that do it. You know, national and uh, those guys are great, great opponents that you want to go up against someday and. Uh, you got to mind their work because they're doing it three ways: offense, defense, and special teams. So uh, you got to look at yourself and say, you know, you got you got a lot more work to do, and uh, why why can't you do it as well? Do you want to be the punter? I want to do as much as I can, but uh, I learned that putting too much stress on yourself can only uh, create some downfalls. So, like I said, I, I just love to play the games, and you know, in all honesty. So when I say I want to be a punt returner, this is basically saying I want to do anything I can to help this team win. When you say stress, you're talking mentally or physically? Uh, both. Both. Uh, you know, anybody who puts too much stress, both mentally and physically, on your body, it's nothing. It's nothing healthy at all. So, like, like I said, you got 11 guys on the field. You can't do everything at once. So now that we've gotten through a decent amount of camp here, you know, how do you feel you're doing performance-wise? Uh, we're looking at the numbers, seven on seven and mm -hmm. stuff. You know, you're doing really well from there. So what do you think? I think, as a team, we definitely improved since the first day of camp. That's the biggest thing. I feel like I've improved also in my reads and um, you know just the little things that I've been doing in the film room on the field. Um, I feel like it's gotten a lot better since we started. So some areas that you feel like, okay, this is one or two things that I can really improve on and I want to be better on by the time LSU comes around. I think just the small things after getting the reads, just um, I feel good on all the playbook, all that kind of stuff. Just the small things like hitting the check downs and um, you know just the little things. What are you seeing as quarterback in this offensive line coming together? A few new parts, you know, for the most part, everyone's healthy and they seem to be yep. doing good. What is it like from your eyes? It's great to have guys that played last year, guys that have experience. Um, you know, there's not too much to worry about from that aspect as compared to last year. So I feel very comfortable behind them. What are uh, Coach Chris and Joe talking about when they're bringing the offense together? You know, what are their main points of emphasis that you guys are usually hearing in the room? They're just talking about getting the most out of every day as we possibly can. Today when we were in the meeting room, we stressed that today was the most important day, important day of camp and not really looking ahead, not looking back, but just focusing on today. In here, you know, how's the offense coming along? How happy are you with it at this point in camp? Um, we, it's coming along. You know, I'm glad we got more camp left and there's a lot of things we got to shore up. I think anytime you're trying to be aggressive, um, with installing, you're, the thing you got to go back to is the details of plays. And so that's, that, that's got to be big as we finish out this week. It's got to be huge. The details, they're not where you need them to be yet. So, um, but we're climbing towards it. How about the offensive line? You know, last year we know what you all went through. It's like this year there's just a bevy of talent and experience. Is that where you want it to be? Um, well, it just depends. You could have a left tackle that hasn't started a game. You could have a right tackle that started three. Um, you could have a right guard that started six. You know, so those guys, I like how they're working right now. But we got a lot of work to do. And, um, you know, I like that they have some experience. They, they've been out there before and they've battled. 
which I think will give them a great perspective. And I think it, it, it's helped them with their approach. Um, but we're, we got to grind. We, we got to grind ahead of us, and we're going to have to get better all season. I know we have a long ways to go in this QB competition, but uh, some strengths and weaknesses that you've noticed so far with Barton Alex. Our biggest strength is the way those guys compete. You know, they come out each day and they both work. And they, uh, it, it's, it's interesting, I think, when you have a dynamic like that. And I, and I give Bart a lot of credit because he competes every day and he don't worry about anything else. And, you know, same with, same with Horny. You know, he's a young guy. He, he doesn't flinch away from the competition. And I think that's pushing this whole team. It's easy to talk about, it's easy to talk about competition and guys putting it out there when, when your two signal callers are doing it every day. Um, we just like every position. Consistency um, is what you're fighting for, and um, you know that's what we got the rest of the camp to see.